I'd like to take this time and welcome you guys back to another episode of my C7 Corvette channel. And I'm the host, John Schaff. And you're looking at on the screen. This beautiful red Corvette. This is what you call a torch red. And that's a 2021 2 LT with 12 1200 miles on it. Actually 1253. And this is a used vehicle. It looks like it's already sold. And let's see, I think this is a uh yes a Z51. This one kind of in. I know that's the first time I've seen this one. So we always get this and kind of get a nice VF. This is Logan. Excuse me, I dropped my phone. <laughs> I'm not a fan of uh, black wheels, but uh, these here look really, really nice. I'm not a fan either. Of, uh, I'm not a fan of the uh, low wings either. I like the high wing. I'm still kind of torn between the uh, between the uh, the coupe of the convertible. I guess everybody likes likes to uh, you know likes to be be able to see the engine, but actually you can't even see the engine until you walk up on it. <laughs> so you know, to me it's uh, I don't know. It's to me it's irrelevant. You know, so it ain't like you can ride down the highway and see this gorgeous engine. You gotta, you gotta walk up on it, and you know, in order to be able to see it, cause it's kind of, kind of deep, deep in there. I think I would have the, uh, have the convertible. <laughs> well, let's talk a minute about the secrets of the 2023. Corvette Z06. Uh, the Z06 torque comes from a Germany physics born uh, uh, over 200 years ago. And uh, you would not have thought that a man born two centuries ago will have such an important role in the performance of the 2023 Corvette Z06. But German uh, physics 
Herman von Hamhatsi. Uh, I guess that's how you pronounce that. Deserve the credit of discovering these phenomena in the 1800s that would help deliver plenty of torque from the Z06 flat plane crank, flat plane crank 5.5 liter engine, which is, by the way, will become the most powerful naturally activated V8 bill uh, within the last last year and like you guys I'm anticipating the arrival of the, of the Z06 I don't know. Z06 is going to be going to be my uh, my vehicle of choice. Uh, no, if I was to get me a mid end, it had it was definitely had to be definitely had to be the uh, Z06. But this this guy uh, Germany born over 200 centuries ago is definitely the inspiration behind the uh, LT6 uh, torque curve over the broad range of the uh, uh, G06 uh, uh, according to uh, the GM engineers. That's somebody testing out a. Uh, just not a dodge. So we normal folks. We normal folks. Uh, don't don't uh, understand the science behind the Z06, uh, but the uh, that's a um, I think that's a what you call that a demon or something like that. <laughs> Yeah, I really look forward to the day when uh when you have one of these uh you know ZO sixes out on the lot and uh GM GM is going to uh is going to be uh having the same uh invite or imitation uh as they did when they came out with the uh came out with the base model where they're gonna be taking uh the uh, Z06 around to uh, several uh, uh, dealerships. I think it's uh, like it's like about 145 uh, G uh, dealerships all around the country, and uh, they're going to be introducing to you all the, uh, the Z06. So look look forward to that in the coming uh, in the coming months. <laughs> I'm gonna definitely try to stay up on that and uh so I can uh come here and bring you guys some live footage uh when that happens. And as you can see uh in my earlier videos, uh 
I was able to bring you some live footage when the uh, when the base model base model first came out. So they gonna do that do that again for the Z06, and I was I was wondering if, if that was going to happen with the Z06, but but uh, from where he had now, it, they are going are going to do the same thing. It's kind of cold out here. That's my baby right there. I didn't realize it was so cold out here. Dodge for him myself. Now this Z this uh ZR1 is still available guy. I haven't gone anywhere yet. I guess the market kinda of slowed down. They're not uh they still here, but uh as we go on to the month, March is uh, March is coming up. Soon we'll be back into our Corvette season again, and uh, hopefully, uh, somebody will come get this beautiful car. I wish I could get it. Cars brand new, man. They C7. It was it was listed for about shoot about 130 to 140 thousand dollars. This type of land, for a bit here. So I don't know if the Zorro model is going to replace this, or we're going to have a have a ZR1 in a uh, a Zorro Zorro model. Uh, no mid mid uh, mid engine, uh, you know C8. It's a monster right here, boy. <laughs> we dog it. <laughs> it is a monster. You talking about a thousand horsepower, guy. One thousand horsepower. This beautiful machine. This is a uh, this is a uh, a Dodge Charger and a, and a Hellcat and a a Demon Killer. <laughs> well, you gotta check out this yellow. I know y'all seen it. I was walking up here. <laughs> this is a brand new one with the racing stripes, and it is, of course, a 2022. And it's a one LT. <laughs> yeah, and, and the price going up, guys. Uh, it ain't no six five thousand or six six and a half thousand no more. This is just a one LT twenty twenty two model Corvette Steamway Coupe. Again, one LT 
It's a celerated, celerated yellow. And of course it has the uh, eight speed dual clutch transmission. Interior is jet black. And let's see what kind of options she has on it. She has a Z51 performance packages, which is $6,345. Uh, she has a rear, uh, rear axle performance ratio. Uh, high performance tires that trying to uh, limit skip differential uh, Z Z51 performance suspension Z51 performance brakes performance exhaust heavy duty coolant system Z51 performance suspension uh, which is uh, 1895 magnetic selected ride control performance uh, tractor management uh, carbon flash paint high, whatever that means. That's 1250. Uh, wing uh, sparta, uh, these haven't been installed yet. That's a uh, carbon fiber, uh, full length. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that's a high wing. Then, then again, it might be, uh, but that's $995. And they have the wing have, has not been installed yet. But yeah, this um, uh, this is seventy five thousand and seventy five dollars. The standard, the standard uh, base price for this car would have been $60,900 without the uh, added, uh, added option to it. Uh, with the added options, uh, uh, look like the uh, added options uh, come to a total of about uh, $12,880. With the uh, twelve ninety five uh, destination charge, and bringing it bringing it to a total of seventy five thousand two hundred seventy five dollars. Yeah, and then this is a Z fifty one. Yeah, like I said, she has the racing stripes on it. Yeah. The dealer just having they just having uh put the uh, spot on it yet. <clears throat> if I got the racing stripes in my car, I want the racing stripes that the uh, C C1A R special edition. I want those racing stripes. Not these claims that you see. No, I want them. If you got them don't know what I'm talking about. You need to go and look at it. Look at the wasting strikes for the uh, for the C8 uh, special edition C8.R. Uh, those racing strikes are, are, are bad to the bone. And you got these old these old ugly than ugly than black wheels. Uh, I don't like I don't like these wheels at all. And they should have had you guys should have seen those real if you go to go back to last week last weekend I was out here they had a, a orange amplifier, amplifier orange had a Vossine Voss, Vossine uh, rims on it and those rims was $17,995 now that's not how much the rim cost that's how much that's how much extra a nice Lamborghini 
2006 model. 2006 model, and they still won $117,000. Woo!